Okay, here's some information for the Data 710 class, the introduction to R. Uh, so we're talking specifically about week five and the farming simulation. Some students have had some issues with it and wanted some additional guidance on it. So I thought just give, kind of giving you a, a quick framework over what's expected out of that last question. Um, so let's review that kind of in detail. So let's start first with this piece of the discrete simulation on a queue system on a bus terminal. Again, remember, it's just looking to see counting buses coming in, buses coming out, the amount of time that the bus spends in. So we can do that through something more advanced like what we showed on the, on the first initial introduction, or you can do something through something simpler. And here's gonna be a simpler version of that framework that you could use. Now this will show you buses coming in, buses leaving and counting those buses, but it doesn't show you the time element of it. And so you should incorporate both of those two in your final solution. So. Uh, I'll review again, the items which we're, we're, group, we're grading off of here is there'll be a core simulation function, there'll be some kind of variable initialization, there'll be an add event, there'll be an event response and a get next event, and there'll be a function to print out the results of the simulation. So again, if we wanted to strip this back to just the core pieces of it, let's talk first about an, uh, event initialization. So here I'm just going to have a variable called sim data. And I'm going to set that to zero. And so that's, again, a form of variable initialization. Right there is, is, uh, meets that particular criteria. A function to add a bus. So we've gone over functions several times now with this course, and you've submitted responses on adding functions. So you take the basic function um, uh, structure, and to that, I'm going to go ahead and pass in that variable that I initialized, that sim data. Um, now, in this, I'm going to just print off a statement saying that I'm adding a bus and then as I return, I'm just going to increment that by one. And so uh, add bus at the most elementary as a bus comes in, it's just gonna simply increment that counter that we've got set up. So that's the add event. Um, the event response. So several different ways which you can do this, but again, I'm gonna have it to where it's gonna look to remove a bus. Now you wanna also have it to where it counts so many buses inside of the terminal and then decides whether or not to kick the next bus out, that could be time-based of when they kick the next bus out. But to keep it simple, uh, just a, a function to remove a bus. Um, here it's going to look here, and it's going to make sure that that sim data actually has a bus in it. If it doesn't have a bus in it, then it's not going to remove anything. It's just going to return out of the function. That's what the safety catch here in the if, then, uh, if uh, statement is doing for us. But if we say, okay, there is more than uh, there is a bus in the terminal, then we're going to remove a bus and we're going to go ahead and return that amount out. Otherwise, we're just going to return the sim data, which is the bus by itself. So that second one really isn't removing any bus if it's less than, if, it's, if, if there's no buses to remove out of that. So that again is just a safety catch. But that's an event responder right there. Um, as, as you want to remove a bus, you want to make sure that there is actually a bus in there. Printing the results is fairly straightforward. Since we know that we're storing this inside of sim data, I'm just gonna return the print of that sim data. You can do that in the return. You can do that um, here in, inside of a, of, of a print statement as I've done. This is probably the most simplest way to do that print. And then here's the core simulation function right here. So in that main, I'm not even passing in any variables. I'm just gonna go ahead and say, uh, set the sim data to nothing. Again, I'm doing that variable initialization. Um, for uh, i is equals 1 to 100, so I'm actually going to loop through it 100 times. I'm manually setting that event response, so it's just basically going to process 100, 100 buses. It's then going to do an if-then statement. It's going to do a sample, and it determines whether or not it's going to add a bus or remove a bus. So it's basically going back and forth saying add a bus or remove a bus, and then it's going to end the simulation by running the print, and printing off a uh, simulation is complete. So uh, again, this meets all of those criteria that we've talked about. You've just seen a core simulation function. You've seen a variable initialization. You've seen the add event. You've seen event response. You've seen the get next event. And you've also seen the print off of that simulation. Now this is good for just counting the buses. You'll want to add something in there too to also count the time or to look at the time. When the bus comes in, when the bus leaves, uh, those are, are typically the, the easiest ways to do this. So um, I'll go ahead and just run this whole section of code so you can see it. And down here in the console, as I'll expand, I'll expand up the console, you can see it'll start. Uh, first three things it did was it tried to remove a bus. There's no bus inside the queue. It then added a bus. 
it has a bus of zero to start off with the first count. And so then it'll just continue to add bus, remove bus, add bus, remove bus. And so this is printing off the result. At the total end, it ended up having a bus count of one uh, that had, that had uh, still remained inside of the terminal at that point. You may want to use a total of a bus count. That's also a way you can do this. Uh, in that case, uh, instead of just having just a, a single variable, like a sim data, you may want to have a sim data and maybe a cumulative sim data. So if you wanted to show how many times, that, how many buses went through that, that's another thing that you'd want to put as a counter. This should give you the framework, though, for um, putting in the basic simulation of what you need to do as part of this. Again, I continue to stress, do not overthink this exercise. It's a relatively simple exercise, and the purpose of it is just to show that you can write functions, several functions together, and functions that call each other. So having it as far as the programming structures, that's really what uh, week five is about. So we're focusing on some of these basic elements. Don't completely overthink what you need to do as far as the simulation. Um, that's not the purpose of it. If you still get stuck, uh, please uh, let me know. Um, give, me a, give me a message back, either in an email or on the discussion forums. Um, have a good one. Thanks.